So what's going on guys? I appreciate you tuning in to another video. I am up early and ready to get to work. I'm out checking on the chickens and everyone is doing real good. Uh, we have moved 107 birds out onto the pasture and we have been moving them twice a day. Now it is an absolute privilege and honor to be able to raise food, not just for my family, but for other people's family and you know being able to bless people within the community is the overall goal for this farm we want to bring community together and build them up so today we have a lot to do during the week i work full time and so the windows of opportunity are slim to get things done so when it comes to weekend it's time to bust things out. Unfortunately, it's an overcast and rainy day and we have to work rain or shine. And I'm gonna take you guys along. I'm really excited. We're gonna be moving fast, a lot to get done. And we're gonna see what unfolds. I'm gonna try to bring you guys along as much as I can. Uh, if I need to, I'll bust out the umbrella. Uh, I just want to be able to get things done and at the same time, bring you guys along. The next thing we're gonna be doing is moving the goats. They did an excellent job on their paddock while we were away, and it's time to move them. I talked to you guys about moving them into the woods. Uh, that is the overall goal. However, before we do that, we're gonna put them to work. We're gonna use their skills to help us out and make our jobs and life a little easier. So what we're gonna be doing is moving the goats down in the front of our property. Uh, we have fencing down there and the fencing that we used uh, doesn't really allow us to weed whack. We can, however, when we do, the power of the weed whack really destroys and bends the fence up. So we're gonna end up moving them down there. Uh, this is gonna be a little experiment. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. This is gonna be a great opportunity to get these guys to work, get them some food, and you know, like I said, make our lives a little easier. We got the net all set up along the road and it's looking pretty good. Um, I only gave them enough room so they could focus on the weeds and the grass that are, is going through the fence. Uh, they are following me perfectly. It is amazing when you bucket train your animals of how much they cooperate and I'm glad I did it. There we go. Let's go. Hey, Charlie. Oh, you might have messed things up. Charlie, no. Good boy. Oh. I'm in, I think I might be in trouble right now. I didn't shut the gate to the driveway. Let's see how this bucket training works. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, that's perfect, perfect. Here we go, come on. Ugh. So the goats are in and the fence is on. I'm really excited because they're already getting to work on this fence line. I'm only gonna keep them in here for a day or two. That way there's no buildup in manure close to the house. And then I'm gonna get them back into the woods of where they belong. Project we're gonna be working on is the front 
of our chicken brooder. As you guys see, it is pretty destroyed. The door is definitely not lined up. And with this project, it's pretty serious. Um, it is raining, but you know, right now is the only time that I have to do it. Luckily, it's not raining heavily and we have no wind. So I'm gonna get at it because this has to be started and finished today. Night can't come and this be undone. if I could help Jeremy. I'm not very handy with tools, but sometimes I can help him talk through some things and it looks like he might need some talking through a little bit. So, what's this is, happening? This is actually a train wreck. So, why? I don't know what I'm doing. So, I took off everything and I I tried to make it this square, the frame square. However, when I went to jack up the corner, Completely messed up the sidewall, so now it's just completely off. And I went to go do my measurements. Basically, I traced this, the old one, and then this is what it turned out to be. So the measurements are completely off. And then I ended up trying to just do piece by piece measuring it, and that's even off. So I'm getting kind of panicky because there's a storm coming. There's a storm coming, and there's a huge hole in the brooder. All right, so what, so put that piece up there. Where are you at now? Lost, that's where I'm at. So like, this is, so right now I'm just, so this, like, I'm like off. Okay, yeah. It's like my top, this, this is good, and this is a good angle, but then, this is completely off. So I measured, I measured something wrong. Well, you're also working with a really old shed oh that was gosh. transported here. So you can't be too hard on yourself. This was at somebody else's property. We probably paid more money to have it moved here than we would have just to buy a new shed, yeah. which is kind of where we're at right now. Is it worth fixing is the question. So for tonight, I think we just have to get them sheltered, right? So I mean, this just- This is good. This is actually good. This, this is good. What if this, you this angle? What if you like take off like an inch up there, like parallel to the angle you already have, and then see where you're at? Ooh. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I, think, I, think, I think anything's better right now. I think what we should do is buy a new shed. Is what I really think we should do. But I think for now we should just keep, the, keep, keep it the like birds dry. yeah, make it last until we buy a new shed, until like, we find gonna, a shed that we want. Because I really think this. it. I'll have to piece of, put a piece right there. Basically, it's probably gonna look like it did when I started, which is kind of a bummer. Well, sometimes we're a train wreck here on the farm. But we always learn. Yeah. Well, let's try that and just see where it's at.
for what you had to work with, I think it looks really good. I think this is one of those lessons though that sometimes you try to save money, especially um, as a farmer, you kind of use and reuse. But sometimes it just pays to, to, to spend more money up front and then you yeah. don't have to put money into it because <laughs> if we had just bought a new shed in the beginning, then we wouldn't have spent all this money trying to fix it and fix it. We should have just yeah, that's bit the, the bullet. So, yeah, because if you would add, if you add what we ended up paying to get the shed here, plus everything that we've put into it is a new shed. And we're not done. Yeah, we're not even close. Like, this isn't how it's going to stay. Yeah, so, well, we really appreciate you guys tuning in. We really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your life to watch ours. If you guys haven't, please hit that subscribe button. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. And I can't wait to read the comments on this video uh, with the goatscaping. We're bringing the goats down to the road to this. Uh, leave comments, guys. Let me know what you think. And I hope you guys have a blessed day.